Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be looking at the entire roster of Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which has every character, I think, that was in the series up until this point. And I wanted to kind of rate the costumes, and I also want to give thoughts on whether they might appear in Mortal Kombat 1, either as DLC or as cameos or whatever. So, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's go from there. So... You can see along the top is pretty much all the ninjas. Uh, so we start with Scorpion uh, in this game. I actually, this this particular design I think is a is a is a solid design for Scorpion. Um, this is his, it's more like a classic design, but I think it I think it's good. I think this one is a good like good Scorpion design. Very clear who it is. Nine out of ten. His ult is. Scorpion. You can see his ult, which I think is more like the one in Deadly Alliance. I don't like this one quite as much. Um, I think this one's more, it's a bit too busy for me, but he does look more, I guess, like a ninja hood up kind of thing. I'd probably give this one more of a, it's not bad, I'd probably give it a seven. So, so that's Scorpion, and obviously he's in the new game, Scorpion's always going to come back, so. Moving on, Sub-Zero, very simple design, um, but again, you know, with the ice on the arms and the blue, does the job, nothing too complex, probably give it the same as, a Scorp as Scorpion's. Uh, I would probably give this one an, or an eight. I think it's decent. I don't think it's, I, I do prefer like the sort of like the how you can see the um, top half of Scorpion's costume with like the raised shoulder pads. I prefer that, but it differentiates Sub Zero enough with like the big medallion and the sash. But I give it I give it an eight, and then I think it's oh yeah he's got the shredder. Out. I actually like this. I think this one's kind of better. I think it make it, it looks awesome except for maybe the shoulder pads. Uh, I'd probably give this one this this has to be an eight as well. I don't think it's like amazing, uh, but I do think it's very good. And obviously, Sub Zero is back. He's a, the, he's the other character that's most likely always going to return. These two always do. Um, yeah, so we can look forward to the reptile. I actually don't mind this costume. He does look a bit funny, but he has again the ninja thing that Sub Zero has with like the shoulder pads, and you can tell he's going to be one of the ninjas. He's um, decent, uh, distinct enough in this game to know that he, you know, he's quite scaly. I give this one a 7 out of 10. It's good. It's, it's a good design for him. His ult is the lizard design. I don't really like the lizard design. This is like 5 out of 10. Like, it's okay. It's, it's very distinct, but I don't like it. And obviously, Reptile's coming back in MK1. So that's cool. Getting a lot of the characters to start with coming back. We've got Rain. I love this design for Rain. I think this is really, really cool. This is one of my favorite designs for Rain. Um... The whole purple thing. He looks very regal, very majestic. And he's a fun character anyway. Um, he doesn't normally pop up in the Mortal Kombat games. But yeah, I'd give this one a 9 out of 10. Love it. I don't remember what most of his ults are. I don't hate it. But I don't like it as much. I prefer the cape on him. Like moving back and forth. Because it's like basically that without the cape. There's slight differences. But I'd give that one a... It's not bad. I'd give that one a 7, I think. And we know Rain's coming back as well. He's also looking pretty sweet. Ermac. Again, I, I quite like this costume. Ermac's had some interesting designs. This is a solid costume. Um, I think it, again, makes him distinct enough to know wh who he is. Um, this one, to me, is probably a 7. I think Ermac just looks decent enough. Ermac. Oh, it's like a human, almost like a human version of it. I don't even remember this design. <laughs> um, looks quite interesting. Um, but nothing... It's not as good as the other one, so this is probably like probably give it a five, very middle of the road. And we know that he's coming back in the DLC for Mortal Kombat One, so you know, doing my job for me. Chameleon, here's a, here's a weird one. So the, the Wii version of this game has two versions of Chameleon, female and male. Um, very strange character. I can't remember how they fight at all in the game. Cool concept. I do like the fact that like the colours change on them. I have no idea what his ult is, but. Just alone, the effect of him being somewhat invisible, apart from his clothes, like his face and his arms. I do like that. I give that like a solid seven. Uh, I, I don't. Th he's got the same skin then. He does. So he only has one skin. And then just to break things up, we also have female chameleon with a K as well. And she is an. N she was originally N64 exclusive, but as you can see on the title screen, the opposite space is a creator character. And uh, in the other versions, there were two. And this version, she takes one of the slots. I prefer the female 
Actually, it's just a different color. I prefer the female version. I think the design looks better. It's hard to see on this screen. Um, I think the female version is probably an 8, and the male version is probably a 7. Like, they're cool concepts, um, but uh, do I think they're going to return? I do actually think they might come back as a... Um, as a cameo in the next game, I don't think they're going to be playable. I don't think I think Chameleon was one of those characters that had their own like they take moves from other players. But I could see them coming back as a cameo. I can't even can't even tell what style that is. What's his alt look like? That was like a human version of it. So I do like Dark New, but like there are better designs. This one is kind of hard to tell with the age of this game, so I probably give it a five because you can't really make out what he looks like on this screen. <coughs> As for the ult, this is like a human version of him. I don't like it. I like it when he's like just dark and you can't it's more like the detail on his dark suit. So this so this one's probably like a three. It's like a just just not a very interesting version of him. Um, and I hope to see him return as a cameo or playable character in the MK1. And then we have Smoke. I forgot Smoke was like a weird robot y dude. I don't sure what Smoke is in this game. What's his ult? Probably Smoke. Oh, okay. So this is his, his like, oh, he's got similar to Chameleon, isn't he? He's got like the see-through body. I don't like this design very much. I'd give it a four out of 10. I think it's okay because it's d distinct, it stands out, but it's not particularly interesting. However, Smoke. that is a very cool looking robot. I like that one a lot more. Um, very different to like, you can see Sector's been standing there the entire time. Um, very different to Sector. And Cyrex, and I like that kind of grey colour to it. That one's probably an 8 out of 10 for me. And we know that Smoke is coming back, so... Cyrex. Uh, this, so it's his robot form and his human form, I believe. As a robot form, very classic looking. You can tell it's Cyrax. Just the standard stuff across the board. Cyrex has always kind of looked fairly cool, so in Sector, so it's a 7. And there's his human. Yeah, I don't really care for human Cyrax. Um, 5. 5 out of 10. And we know he's back as a cameo, at least for now. Sector, as, as you can tell, again, very, very cool. Would give him a 7 out of 10 for his design. Distinct red robot man. And as soon as he's human. Ooh, that's a weird design. Don't know. I don't like it. So that was a little bit more like, basic with the helmet, and that's with, like, kind of out the helmet. A few more bits. Yeah, I don't really like this design at all. I'll give that one, like, a, probably like a 4 out of 10 as well. Alright, oh. Hotaru is somebody I completely forgot. I also sectors in the game, the new one. Hotaru, I, is this the guy with the flags? I thought it was somebody else, but... I don't mind this design. What's he look like? With... It's like some weird armored ninja thing, okay. This is a character that's... I don't hate the designs. I get the flags trying to make him stand out. I probably would like shrink the flags down a little bit. But in terms of him being like this warrior, by the looks of it, it's not bad. Six out of ten. This one, on the other hand, I quite like it as well. I'd probably give it a six as well because he's also got an armored knight, sort of like um one of the ninjas. Like a lot of the free the era characters that are in this game, I wouldn't mind seeing as cameos. I know they're bringing some of them back as playable. Movado, Mr. Va is he a vampire? I can't remember if he's a vampire or not. He's an interesting character anyway. Um. Pretty generic looking, just a guy with like he's missing a sleeve on one of his shirts. That's a better costume. So this this one's probably like a five, and that one is more like a seven because it's kind of like got a sword on his back and all. oh he's is, I think he's part of the rival clan actually, Mavado. So that's a much better design for him. Yeah, it's about a seven, and I think he might show up as a cameo in the new game. Oh, good old Borei. I like Burrow Cho. I would like to see him come back uh, in Mortal Kombat 1 in some way. Uh, I like the design. I believe the other makes him older. This is a bit more traditional, that design then, versus that one. Um, they're both about the same for me. They're both about like maybe a 6. He needs In this game, I think he needs a little bit more design. It's a game obviously incapable of doing. I don't hate them, but they're nothing special. But they do, you know, it's Burrow Cho. And bring him back as a playable character. That'd be awesome. Fujin. Yeah, I'm, I'm so used to seeing his Mortal Kombat 11 design that this is kind of weak. I think in both cases. Uh, I do kind of prefer the cape, actually. So, regular design. Probably like a 5. This design. More like a 7. I like the cape. Makes it look a lot more badass. 
<laughs> hoping that he shows up in MK1. I do think it will be more of a cameo character than an actual character, though. Um, okay, moving on. We've got Reiko. <laughs> Very edgelord looking character. I think he was meant to, like, his whole story was, like, trying to best Shao Kahn. Bear with me one second while I... My little furry friend here. Oh, there you go. Stay there, please. Um, oh, sorry, bud. There you go. Um, come on that way. Thank you. Yeah, Reiko. Probably, um... I don't even know what he's... Oh my god, he looks like Nightwing. <laughs> um, I don't really... I don't know, he's just not a very... I mean, he looks like he's got Shao Kahn stuff around him. Not a character I'm particularly care about that much. Don't think he's that cool. Probably a, f a f five for this one. Cool. Probably a four for that one. There's nothing particularly interesting about him. And again, 3D character. Would love to see him come back as a cameo in the new game. Darius, we know, is back at MK1. And this is sort of the same sort of costume he's going with. Um, decent looking costume. Darius. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one's a six. This one, I think, just purely based on the what it is, I think it's kind of like a seven. I love this. It's <laughs> that's an amazing costume. But yeah, he's back in MK1. We've got Jarek. I do not remember Jarek at all. Uh, he just looks like a jobber. Jarek. Oh my god, his costumes Jarek. are so similar. God, he's so unmemorable. Four out of ten for both. Again, if he comes back to cameo, totally cool with it. Dairu. Um. Dairu. Okay, that's the, the second costume is better. That's a, that's a probably about a six, and that one's a bit busy. That's probably like a four for me. Not a fan of that. Again, bring him back cameo. Oh, Cabal, classic looking character here. We've got the that one. That's a, that's a, like a probably. Because it hasn't changed too much, actually, Kapal's design. So that's probably, like, um, an 8. Cabal. Ooh, I don't like that one. Uh, that's a that's a 5. <laughs> it's passable, but his first one, very classic, very iconic. I actually hope he shows up as a character. I think Cabal's a really fun character. Um, I think it might be Mavado that actually plays the same as him, who has the hooks. So, but would rather see Cabal come back over uh, Mavado. Oh, my boy Striker. I love me some Striker, and he is back in MK1 as a cameo, but I actually really like him as a character. I would love to see him come back properly. Striker. This is... What the... Oof. Oof. Doesn't even have the hat. That's a... That's a... Uh, yeah, not a costume I like. That's like probably a two. This one isn't bad. It looks like he's got two swords on his back. I think that's what he uses weapon-wise, but I think he's going to have a bat, uh, baton. But the actual suit costume... 7 out of 10. I don't mind it. It's not awful. Nightwolf. Classic looking Nightwolf as well. Would love to see him come back in MK1 as a playable character. Because I think Nightwolf is very classic and iconic. Very, very sort of standard Native American look to him. I don't know what the ult is. Oh, don't like that. Uh, that's, a, that's a 3 out of 10. That one's a 7 out of 10. I like it. It's iconic. <laughs> Mocap. A character that will probably turn up as a cameo in the new game, or he will turn up as something ridiculous, most likely. He is that kind of character. I don't think he's got an ult. He does not. Um, it's it's a it's a five out of ten, and it? it's it's silly, but it's not exactly great. <laughs> Johnny Cage. I forgot this is like his 3D era. Johnny Cage. Oh, the tuxedo is a ten out of ten. It's amazing, but this one is more like iconic Johnny with like the cage stuff around him. Uh, I give this one an 8. I like Johnny Cage's design. I always have done. Obviously, the new game. He look, but he looks great in the tux. Johnny so, Cage. yeah. Kano. His design has gotten better as time has gone on in other games. This isn't bad. Kano. Okay. I don't know which one I prefer. Because that one's like... It's not wearing hardly Kano. anything. And that one is wearing more like a sash and belts and things. I think they're about the same for me. I think they're both about six. I prefer some of Kano's other designs. And we don't know if he... We know he's an MK1, but we don't know if he's coming back as a full playable character. So we'll have to see. Oh, yeah. Jax. I don't... I, I prefer other Jax designs. I think this one. Jax. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> um, 
This one isn't how I imagine Jax. I prefer his newer designs to this one. So this one is probably like a six. This one is probably like a five. It's not awful, but it just doesn't look particularly. It hasn't aged very well. But I do like the big, like almost like fa flavor flavor from um, Public Enemy. But instead, it's got the Mortal Kombat logo. And we know he's as a cameo again. Would love him as a playable character. Great character. Kai. It's a bit dark on the screen. And it's not a character I remember. God, he's like another job, isn't he? There's not much, much about this character that sticks out. Um, probably like a 4 out of 10 for both designs. Not a character I can remember. Again, 3D characters, they come back as cameos. That's fine, but I don't think Kai will. Oh, Kenshi. We do like me some Kenshi. We know he's in a new game. Kenshi's fun. Uh, this is a fun design. And Kenshi. that's more classic, that one. Yeah, I think I prefer this design because I think this is what he had in Deception. I could be wrong. It might be the other one he had. But this one is like an 8. This one is probably like a 6. It's a little bit weird. But I love Kenshi as a character. Fantastic. I'm going to assume that Shijinku's... Shijinko. Oh. I thought it might be his younger self. Um, This is a character I actually wouldn't mind them seeing returning to. I think he's an interesting character anyway. Um, it's fairly fun. But nothing, nothing really catches me. So this is like a, a six at best. This is just a bit busy. I do like the the logo there, but there's a lot of color and yeah, that's that's probably a four. That one, I'm not not a fan, and I'm not sure I like a bald either. Oh look, it's MK's favorite favorite character, Su Hao. I'm pretty sure this is no hat. Oh god, he's he just. He needs a complete redesign. A complete, he needs to reimagine this character if they ever bring him back. Um, oh, as for Shijinku, we'd love to see him come back as a full play, player character. Uh, Su Hao is like a 2 out of 10 at best. And the other one, this one's probably a 1 out of 10. Um, we'd love to see this character come back with a completely new design and actually make him cool. But Cobra, I think this is like... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember what his story is. It's almost I want to say he's related to Johnny Cage like in terms of fighting. But uh, I don't know. Um, hood up's kind of cool. I think this version, decent, stands out. Looks like very traditional. Would probably give this one a 7. Would give this one probably a 6. I do like it, but I don't think it's as strong. And Cobra's actually another character I would happily see come back. Here's my creator character, which I can't currently pick. Oh, because I don't have a profile. So. Dagon, the villain of this game. <laughs> very unmemorable. Dagon. Only has one costume. Uh, I don't think Taven or Dagon will ever come back, if I'm honest. I think Dagon... Yeah, he's a... He's, he's a 3 out of 10. There's nothing There's nothing interesting about him. Ah, Raiden. Uh, great to see Raiden back, as always. One of my fan favourites, and one of my favourites as well. Um, Raiden. I quite like that. I... Don't, not a fan of Dark Raiden or Evil Raiden, which is what happens to him. He becomes corrupt. I don't mind this costume, but I do prefer him when he's in white rather than like the black and colours and the grey colours. Um, this is probably a six. Raiden. Eh, one's probably a six as well. I, I do like both of them, but I think that one... Yeah, no, they're, they're both a six. Shinnok. Oh, God, he looks ugly as all sin in this game. Shinnok. Oh my god, they're so similar. They're both a five. Would love to see him come back as a playable character. And not be OP. Ah, Quan Chi. Looking in the classic Quan Chi as always. Um, I think I think people like this bald-headed freak. Quan Chi. Oh god, that's... Yeah, scrap this costume. That's like three out of ten. No. It's a, yeah, three out of ten. Six out of ten. Conchi like just has a distinct look. Doesn't particularly look amazing, apart from his tattoos. But glad to see that he's uh, coming back. Oh, good old Shang Tsung. I think this is a younger Shang version. Tsung. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. That's like a, a two out of ten. This one's not bad. I think I'd prefer it if the flowy things were a little bit shorter. We'd give that one a six. We know he's coming back, so not a bad design for Kung Lao. I'm given that. That's that's pretty decent. What we got is the old. Similar to Raiden, no hat on. Um, I prefer it when he has his hat on. I think this is more of a classic look. I give this one a good solid, like, 8. I think that's how I imagine Kung Lao to look. Most of his designs are pretty good. 
Uh, as for the second one, probably a five. I think it works better on Raiden. Oh yeah, I forgot when Liu Kang died uh, in Deadly Alliance and they brought him back as a zombie. Uh, what's his old? So that's just that's what Liu Kang would look like during this era. It's, it's not particularly defining in this game. It looks very generic. It's probably a five. The zombie's kind of cool. I'd give it a six because it's different. It's dead. But Liu Kang, not the um, coolest looking character in this game. Taven. Oh my god, does he really look like that? Oh, he does have an ult. He does have an ult. The ult is better. So the basic one for Taven, that is so bland. It's like a 3 out of 10. There's nothing redeeming about that. That one is probably a 5 out of 10. Um, I do like the sort of the chest armor. It's a bit more interesting. He's more interesting than Dagon, um, but they are both bland as butter. So don't expect to see him to come back ever. Oh yeah, long head Sonya and Sonya. whoa, okay, that's an interesting costume. Um, not a fan of that. It's in high heels as well. Give that one like a two out of ten. Weird that this is missing the uh, section, but this is kind of a 3D era costume, so I'd give that one about a 6. I don't think it's awful. Um, obviously, she's back in the new game with more of a classic look, which is cool. Katana. I do prefer... So she's got the face wrap on this one. Okay, apart from it being quite scantily, that one's probably better. That has a bit more of a classic look to it. I do prefer like the face mask on her um, versus that one. So that one is probably like a 4, because they really made a busty in this game, didn't they? That one's a four, Kitana. and that one's probably a, for, for a six because it's a decent rendition of her costume that you're used, used to knowing. I'm a little bit worried about doing this. Yeah, okay, so I like, again, the face thing on Melina, but obviously the rest of the body is not much to it. Um, and this one, I don't know. I don't hate the designs, but I think it, I think it just... Just cover yourself up a little bit more. <laughs> I know that um, <coughs> people have a real thing for Melina. So tend to play on it. So that one's probably like a four. That one's probably a five. They're not awful, but they're definitely not the best designs for her. Jade, I, get, I forgot how much Jade has changed. She changes like every game. Um, again, a bit too scantly. Oh my Christ. That looks straight out of Star Wars, that one. I don't hate it, but... Like, how are you fighting with very little armor? Again, both of them probably like a five. <laughs> Ashra, I think this is the character she's just, they've just come back into. Oh, I should probably say. Sonya is a cameo in the new game. Kitana and Melina are both playable. Jade is also playable. Ashra uh, looks like it's coming back. I prefer her with the hat. I'm assuming this has no hat. Uh, oh, it's just less clothes. Ashra. Okay, that one's a four. I think it's very interesting. That one's probably a seven. I, I actually do like the hat, so. Oh, right. Okay, so I've been thinking about this recently. They've redesigned Lime. Ashra also back in the new game. Um, That's her old design. I don't know how she plays. Oh, I kind of dig it. That's kind of fun. I give that one a seven. And I give that one a six. Nah, I give that one a five. <laughs> they always just, this was the era where they tried to like undress the women <laughs> so much. Serena, she actually looks pretty much the same in the new game. Though she can do this, I think she can turn into a devil, which I don't remember that being a thing. She's a cameo in the new game, which is cool. So that's fun. Um, don't mind that costume. <laughs> Anything that is just like less clothes is definitely getting like a four, four because it's just lazy. That one, not a lot, but that's a more classic design for her. Um, I give that one like a. S uh, I quite like the the white line as well, so I give it a seven. Kira is a character I completely forgot about. Also, um, Serena coming back, yeah, like I said, as a cameo. Kira, very forgettable looking. Kira. Eh. Give that one a four. Give the Kira. that one a three. Lutara, oh my Jesus Christ. What's your ult looking like? Suddenly she's very... I think the I, the wings I do I like the fact that she's like a vampire and the wings and stuff I hope that if they redesign this character they cover up because right now is that <laughs> don't bring this design back because it just looks odd that's definitely like a two and this one's better but needs needs to be wearing more that's probably like a four but the character 
<coughs> I'd love to see as a cameo or come back as a playable character. Sindel? God, all of them have just got their knockers out, Sindel. haven't they? Mm, I kind of like it. That's a five. This is more classic with the hair. That's probably a seven. I do like that design. Look, they actually, look, look at Frost, like, actually covered her up. What's her ult, though? Frost. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thirsty men. Um, two out of ten. But this is more like her iconic one. This is like an eight. This is a good design for Frost. Very iconic look. And she's come back as a cameo. Tanya, I honestly can't remember. Is it Tanya that's in the new game? Or is it Jade? It's one of the two. Maybe it's Tanya. I can't, I can't remember. Um, Tanya. I prefer the fact she's dressed up more in this one. Uh, yeah, this costume is okay. I think this Tanya. one is better though. So I would say the first one is like a five. This one is a seven. Oh, now we get into like the boss characters. Shiva was in Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, Shiva. I don't like either design, uh, but I like the Shiva as a character. I like Goro and I like Kintaro as a character as well. I kind of like all of them, but in terms of Shiva coming back, I, I think I know Goro's come back as a cameo. Shiva would be cool as well. Um, I'll take any of them. But and these designs are a bit weak. I think the newer designs are better, so they're probably both like fours. Oh, Baraka. Baraka. Oh, I kind of like that one more. I think that one's probably like a six. I think that one's probably Baraka. a seven. I don't know why. I think it's just the colors. <coughs> Unfortunately, Baraka is again one of those characters who kind of looks like a jobber. But I do like the, the designs on him. Um, and he's come back as well, which is cool. Mataro on two legs rather than the four. Mataro. And he has two different designs. Okay, cool. Um, like that design. Looks like a Doom boss there. Not a fan of the lot tattoos. Uh, I'd give the first design probably like... I actually quite like it. I think it's N8. Um, the other one is probably like a, a 6. Um, Mataro is definitely a character I'd like to see come back as a cameo. I think that'd be awesome. Awesome way to bring him back into the game. Have like a version of him like this rather than the four-legged version. Uh, Havoc. This is a great design. I, I think it's better. Havoc. Yeah, this is this is crap. <coughs> but this is great. This is like 9 out of 10. Like This just looks really cool. really works for Havoc. It looks a bit weird because it's got one arm out one off. But it, it works for him. His other design is probably like a 4. Don't like it at all. He's coming back. His new design looks good as well. <coughs> I do apologise about the coughing. Sorry about that. Just getting over a cold. Oh, stinky Dramin. Dramin. It's just not. It's just not a character that I think people care about as a boss character. I do think, or like a sub boss character, I think he'd be good as a cameo. I think. He, I don't think he is. But in terms of designs, he needs a bit of a redesign. He's a bit crap. Um, I think both of them are like a two out of ten. Moloch, I don't think has an ult. No. He's Moloch's forgettable as hell. Again, if he's a cameo in the new game, cool. But in terms of his design, he's just like he needs like. A better design like a demon um not very interesting if you ask me so he, he probably is a two out of ten as well we'll start at this end meat meat is very unlikely to ever come back he's always been a joke character which means i expect to see him in a background element rather than a character he does have one of my favorite moves which takes his head off and rolls it i uh, wish could probably give to havoc or somebody else but uh the design is disgusting um it's like it's easily like an 8 out of 10 though I think it's incredible but yes it's um he's a character who's never going to come back in anything um Shao Kahn this is kind of classic Shao Kahn Shao Kahn and that's it just looks weird about the proper helmet this one is like 10 out of 10 this is how like Shao Kahn in the 3D era looks mm, peak this other one is like a 5 Shao the helmet Khan. really ruins it I think if you had this other helmet on in that costume it'd be just as good but <clears throat> Goro, what do you expect? Goro. Eh, I think Goro could do with a bit more clothing, but you know, it's Goro. It looks like Goro. It's a, it's an eight. His other design Goro. is probably. Oop. Goro. His other design is take off the hat, and I think he looks fine. But in his other form is about four. I got Kintaro, who I actually like his design a lot more than Goro's because of the tiger stripes and things. I think he's a really, really cool character. Um, 
I think Kintaro, that design is a 10 out of 10. I think he looks amazing. Kintaro. Oh, he's lost his... Lost his hair. Kintaro. Nah, it's try, too try hard, that one. Not a fan of that. Onaga, not a character. It's a boss character. Again. Oh, Kintaro, I'd like to see come back as a character and or cameo. Onaga, nobody cares about Onaga. He's, he's not a bad design, but he's... It's a four, five... Um, again, cameo. And then there's Blaze, who only has one design as well. Blaze I'd be okay with. Blaze I would be okay with coming back. But he's just he's just a boss character. So again, as a cameo. But in terms of his design, he's not particularly interesting. You could make him look way better than this and way cooler in this day and age. But there we go. That is me going over all of the character designs uh, for Mortal Kombat Armageddon. And just giving thoughts on some of these characters that might come back. But all in all... Um, there you go you can see that some of them definitely need like redoing and things like that but uh thank you very much for watching the video as always if you like the video hit like if you want to see more hit subscribe links for facebook and twitter will be down below in the description as always and until next video i will see you then